What's up fellow classers? It's Apollyon here and I get asked this question a lot and I see it on a lot of other people's streams and YouTube channels and the question is can I do clan war raids or can I participate in clan wars if I have one of my royals sleeping? Um, first of all uh, I would never recommend that you do a clan war or participate in clan, for, clan war if you have both of your royals sleeping. So I'm going to focus on if you have one royal sleeping. And the quick answer is yes, you can. Uh, the next question is should you? And it really, the, for the, the the easy answer there is it really depends on what the stance is of your clan. Um, you got to figure that out. What when you join? How do they view you know putting your royals to sleep, your, your archer queen or your barbarian king, and participating in clan wars? Some of them will not let you. Um, the way we kind of are in the WHF family is uh, if you are doing any type of arranged war, then th there is no chance that you put your royals to sleep. You have to have both your royals up in order to take part in an arranged war. Um, the second part of that is you can put your royals to sleep anytime you want to and decide to opt out. Um, or you also can go ahead and participate in clan war with the caveat being that if you um, you run into a really good clan or a really tough match then you probably be expected to gem your royal and uh, also it depends on where you are in the map if you if you are all the way up at the top at number one two three and the raid really depends on one of the you know the, the war really depends on your attacks then I would also say that you uh, should never put your royals to sleep while in war, war you should just step out for that time either gem them or wait till they go and then join a clan war again so um, those that's that's the the history behind it. now the question is can you do it and the answer is yes. So I'm only going to go ahead and focus on putting the Barbarian King to sleep or warring with Barbarian King. There are plenty of examples of having the Archer Queen asleep and let's just take a look at a couple bases here. The first thing is whatever royal you have that's put asleep you're going to have to make it up with troops. So if you put your king to sleep, then you're going to have to make it up with some kind of, at least you'd like to back it up with some kind of ground troop, like substitute a P.E.K.K.A. in for where that you would drop the king on a normal raid, or, you know, three, four Valkyries in where you would have dropped that king, and, and uh, they'll be able to take the place of it. And uh, if you have the Archer Queen, well, you're going to have to go ahead and drop some wizards in there to take care of maybe a clan castle or whatever that queen's job would have been in that raid. So minions, uh, wizards, something like that, that is some, something that can uh, do damage, uh, quick time damage and uh, and use that. So you're going to have to look at the bases themselves um, and decide what you can and cannot hit. I mean, obviously, you should look at the base and see how you would hit it with a full army including your archer queen and king and then whatever role that king or queen is playing and it's asleep then you're gonna have to substitute those troops in so um, let's go ahead and take a look at one attack and we'll go ahead and see uh, an example from me and we'll go ahead and uh, check out uh, how I go ahead and attack this base All right, um, the first thing I'm looking at here is uh, a very symmetrical base. It's, it's an anti-2 base, and this is probably what you guys run into uh, quite a bit. Um, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit this base with a Govaho, and I'm going to assume I have king and queen. And uh, if you take a look at this base, this is a max base. This is a max town hall base besides the walls, and I think a couple of air sweepers maybe then that's level four and let's see if this one's all so yeah i mean i guess we're 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 running pretty strong here i from what i look at this is a completely max town hall nine base so uh if i can do it you can do it um taking a max town hall nine base and they do make it a little easier with these type of walls but um it wouldn't have made or braid broken the the raid i would have still attacked it even if there were max walls or all lego or whatever so anyway I'm going to come in from the uh, around 8 to 7 o'clock uh, area right uh, by that archer tower and uh, I would drop my king and queen in there but since I have my king sleeping it, I'm going to go ahead and substitute that king with a couple more Valkyries and just get that push in there. Um, 
Since I'm going to do a go vaho, and I think I do a cold blood, it's just one golem in there, I'm going to let the Valkyries do all the work that the king would have done. So I'm going to drop one golem in there, I'll drop the queen behind, and as soon as we get this thing funneled out, and I got wall breakers coming in, I'll go ahead and uh, drop all my Valkyries, and this time I think I'm going pretty heavy, I think I do 12 or, or uh, between 11 or 13 Valkyries just to make sure I get that push. My main goal is to get into that base. I'm going to jump in to the core where the town hall and the expos are. I want those Valkyries to get in there, take out the queen, obviously, and then hopefully take out those two expos, which will make my hog deployment a lot simpler. So let's go ahead and check this thing out as it's getting done. So I, I yeah, I do bring the Cold-blooded, I'm only bringing uh, 10 Valkyries, so I've got three in the clan castle, three Mal max Valkyries. I've got one jump and three heals just to keep those Valkyries alive. So I've, I dropped the golem a little off there, which uh, is not a good thing, but we'll, we'll make that stuff up real, real quick. It finally gets aggro on there. And then I've got uh, my Valkyries coming in there. I've got them uh, streaming inside. They're going to go ahead and beeline right for that king and one-shot her. I'll go ahead and heal, drop the poison. Uh, this is also one of the worst clan castles to go against with Valkyries as well because I've got a dragon and a couple wizards in there. But I do have a hero wizard on the bottom that's going to come up and swing around here. And as he is taking care of this, I'll heal up the Valkyries again. I do have a couple heals to, spell, to spare. And I've got the queen kind of doing her thing, doing a queen walk, but the Valkyries are tanking for her. So that hero wizard takes out that dragon finally. And now that I've got a, a, a quite a bit of Valkyries in that middle going through the core, they take out all the expos, I can go ahead and send my hogs in in a uh, counterclockwise fashion, all the while while those Valks and the other kill squad is tanking for it, the golems. And uh, the, the golem is tanking for the queen as well. So I use my final heal there, push through the hogs. I got plenty of hogs. I also know that there's no more giant bomb spots where these hogs are going to path in the defense. So there's really no reason to hold on to that heal. I, that's why I used that last heal where, where I did. Um, and I'm, I, I'm guessing the other bomb is probably right by that Tesla, but the hogs are never going to pass to that path to that area. So I've got a, a wizard cleaning up from the bottom. I've got a queen cleaning up from the top, and I got the hogs that are going to go ahead and do the rest of the work. So notice I did not have my archer queen. I mean my uh, barbarian king. My archer queen still has her ability, so I'm going to go ahead and pop that in just a second, just to fly through this. But uh, this base is completely wrecked. There is no problem at all getting the three star here. So I just substituted where some people might bring seven Valkyries. I brought an extra three Valkyries, making sure that they can get through there. Um, the king would have just helped out a lot more, but I was confident I could go ahead and do that with a um, uh, you know those extra Valks and, and getting getting the three stars. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at another base. A, um, a ring base. It's made so that your troops go ahead and walk around that whole entire outer range all the while while those point defenses pick them off one by one and then as they start to make their way around that core area uh, those expos are just going to go ahead and have a field day with them. So um, I was looking at this base going you know what I don't even know what I would use my king for except to do a king king swap or a king queen swap and that would be the most important thing so um i just decided that you know the king even though it's always valuable to have a free unit i could take this base without the barbarian king and what i'm going to do is i'm going to use a queen walk to start from around the 545 530 uh, area and just walk all the way to the northeast all the way up to the three o'clock and around the corner and um, I can send the Valkyries in all the way to that core using a jump spell without any wall breakers and uh, take out that entire core and help with the rest of the base. I have a rage um, for two reasons. One, for the Archer Queen, just in case I run into any problems. And number two, I have it to rage the Valkyries up in the core if the Queen is, is doing fine at that point. And I have two heals for the Valkyries and uh, for the hogs that I have, I still another Govaho with a couple loons in the um, in the back end. And uh, it, it, I actually the cool thing about this attack is I crushed this base so hard 
I actually got disconnected just as soon as I dropped my hogs down um, and then I lost connection and so I ended up swagging a heel and three wizards um, that would have made it even better so uh, it's a pretty close uh, war just because I you know I, I got disconnected and I couldn't do anything about it so anyway I've got those minions funneling up all the way in the bottom taking out that builder hut taking out that lab and uh, I drop my queen in there and she's gonna do the queen walk now I want to make sure she goes up to the northeast uh, and I just want to make sure that I can control when that um, uh, the clan castle is going to come out so I can take care of it when I want to so I need to take care of that uh, um, cannon make sure that that queen does not get any weird ideas and start walking towards the the northwest so she's got no reason to walk to the northwest anymore We're gonna go completely northeast and I brought a couple wizards just to back up that uh, the the queen so we could push things on a little bit faster so I'm triggering the clan castle there I use my poison to go ahead and slow all these down it's all it's uh, I think a couple wizards uh, which uh, Valkyrie and uh, I do pop that ability a little soon. I got, I guess, a little nervous or whatever. I, I, I don't know. I always, I want to make sure. I know that my raid is pretty much um, on the fact that I need this queen to live. So I figured just to go ahead and, and rage up is is better than losing her. But uh, that just come, you just get used to that. So I drop a wizard up top to start that. I dropped the wizard a little bit too soon because it's going to get taken out by that uh, archer tower. But as soon as the queen gets aggro on that archer tower, or the archer tower gets aggro to the queen, I can go ahead and start sending in some more wizards there. And again, it was just to go ahead and start doing some more damage. As soon as this air defense goes down, I should have a path to go ahead and get those Valkyries in right to the core. There is no reason why they shouldn't be running in there. And there we go. We drop the Valkyries, drop the, the clan castle Valkyries and mine. We'll go ahead and rage them up and go ahead and heal also. And they will just completely tear through this core. I think it's probably less than 15 seconds for the entire core is done. Um, and it's a good thing because I am running a little bit out of time. The healers do switch. A couple will get, get one healer to go ahead and heal these Valkyries. They, they catch that back end of the rage again and start flying. And at this point, I'm sending in the hogs. At, right now, at, at this instant, m I get disconnected. That's it. So if you notice here, I've got uh, two wall breakers that I kept just in case I needed the, to, to break in for the... Uh, the Valkyries or whatever and I had three wizards for cleanup as well to start from the bottom whatever how it was going my Valkyries are coming up from the bottom my Queen's coming up from the right hand side bottom and I've got two loons that are that are just taking out defenses left and right one for I mean just the best I think I got five defenses right for those two loons and uh, I would have healed those hogs up right here just so that they were getting pounded on by that King but I was disconnected so you know what these Valkyries are going to do their thing Queen is still walking around doing her thing and that loon is on cleanup mode as well so the Valkyries finally take care of it I would have dropped those two wizards like uh, probably five or ten seconds ago up top but uh, you know what we get it done here so uh, six stars for me and uh, three stars for this particular attack so you know hopefully you guys are able to see find your strengths find your weaknesses if you're if you of how you would attack the base with a full army if your plan relies uh, like very heavily on the art the, the the whatever of the royals is sleeping I probably wouldn't attack that base then it's probably not the best idea go ahead and scout the bases uh, fortunately with WHF and our family we are you know we have the luxury of picking bases that weekend three star so you know something like this I would do the same thing um, I would go ahead and come in from the northeast maybe about the two o'clock with a go vaho I drop my uh, wall breakers in there with one golem go ahead and drop my Valkyries in there drop a jump right uh, by the uh, air defense and then I'd let them go through that core and do their thing and uh, you know I would not need the uh, barbarian king uh, if I healed and raged and and you know did did it correctly I should be able to take care of this base as well um, these are anti twos 
So, you know, they're not the best bases in the world when you run against really strong anti-3 bases. Normally, that will be an arranged war or, like I said, uh, a very good clan that uh, knows how to, ba to build very uh, specific bases. And at that point, you might need to wake up your royal. Um, just, you know, that's the whole point uh, is to get those three stars. So, anyway, hopefully you were able to take these, you know, these strategies, understand, you know, that you can still raid. Clear it with, you know, the rest of the clan first. Just, you know, make sure you understand what the rules are, what they, you know, what how they view putting your royals to sleep and, and fighting in clan wars. And, um, you know, do, do your thing and get those six-star clan wars and practice those three-star attacks.